Can you pass me the lighter? Hi guys, welcome to another Badali YouTube channel. This is Mifa. So this video has literally taken me a week to produce or to bring out. I've literally sat down on my table three times. This is my fourth time trying to come up with a look and then either Uyi comes up with something or annoys me or my dad calls. Like literally, literally the four times I've tried uploading this video, it has been a fail. Or actually do the tutorial at all. I don't go past my foundation level before people start to discover my life. So thank God for today. I had the chance of coming up with this pop holes and green look and I kind of did like a reverse liner as you can see so I brought it up from my waterline and I just pushed it like this way and it's a mixture of like a green and a black color as well so I just wanted to do something very fun and very very interesting because I noticed of late I've been doing lots of nudes and I'm like to be honest I'm not really a nude-ish person I'm not a person that like speaks color I love colors and I promised myself that throughout the month of August I'm just going to be bringing out colorful tutorials basically I've done with the nudes no more nudes yes honey anyway so yeah that's why I came up with this publish and green look and I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the video. Brand is from the nineties, so you know it's vintage, so you know I'm classy. It's a free world, we be in a free way. Wah ooh wah ooh wah ooh wah, I'm sorry. Top my class, I'm chit chit just like cut my hair. To start with the purple part of the eyes, I'm going to start with that very lilac light color there from the 35B palette, and I'm going to be applying it directly into my crease. I'm just going to make sure I blend it well and then I'm also pushing it into my inner corners because I want to create like a halo green and purple eyes basically. Then I'll be going into this Kiko eyeshadow color and I'm going to be applying that also on top of the purple color I had added initially because I want it to be like a gradient like purple effect going on. Make sure you dust up, dust up the SF. You don't want to have like so much um, color on one part of your eye and then the other part is kind of left with no color. Then I'll be going into the Makeup Revolution palette. I'll be using that purple color. This is one of the very first time I'm actually using a um, shimmery color. And I'm going to be using that with a more dense brush because I want it to be like very packed in there so i'm going to be going with a more dense brush i'm just going to try to apply the purple all over my crease and the inner and the outer color of my eye outer view of my eye rather to further make the crease more dense i'm going to be using a pencil brush and i'm going to be applying that at the outer view of my eyes the inner corners of my eyes and also on at the crease of my eyes this is just to make the color very opaque i literally want the purple to scream out very loud basically that's the whole gist so take your time and build in the colors literally i think i blended this look for almost like 10 minutes and i'm going to be using a clean brush to like brush out all the edges and make it look really nice then going into that green color pop shadow i'm going to apply that at the empty space where i left and try to blend the green with the purple so pack as much as you can make it opaque and then use a brush to blend out sides as you can see, I'm trying to use like the purple color and the same pencil brush that I used initially to blend out the edges. And then for my inner tether, I'm going to be going into that purple color from the Makeup Revolution palette. Sorry, I'm using so many scattered palettes, guys. And I'm just going to build the color in my inner tear dots, basically. Yeah, baby,
Tina Snack and I'll be doing my eye, my lower lash line and I use this green liner from Bonjour I use that to smudge my lower lash line and I kind of extended it to kind of form the reverse smoky eye I also went into a black and a green shadow together and mixed them and I used that also to smudge out the liner and I didn't forget to add it to my wing, my reverse wing I make sure it's blended as well and then in a second I kind of forgot to do my um, lip on camera as well but I lined my lips with the chestnut lip gloss lip liner and I'm going to be adding this intense lip gloss on my lips to kind of make like a pinkish babyish look I hope you guys forgive me I'm sorry that I cut out some bit but I hope you forgive me and I love you thank you so much for staying till the end of the video um, I love you guys so much if you stay till the end of the video it means you have enjoyed it so just give this video a thumbs up and don't also forget to subscribe I love you guys so much and tell your friends 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 to please subscribe thank you so much I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one bye